This summer, I can hear it, is going to be a loud one across parts of the area. Yeah, that's right. Not because of any loud pool parties or anything like that, but because of these guys, these cicadas. Ooh. Reporter Julia Haley has more on these critters, who of course are making their presence very known across the state. They don't bite, they don't sting, they sing. And in a few weeks, these cicadas are giving Western North Carolina one of nature's loudest performances. After 17 years underground, they've returned. Brood 14 is gearing up for an echoing chorus. Yeah, when you go outside, you can hear this like loud buzzing and I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask me what these alien like sounds are like. These cicadas will emerge for around a four to six week period. This is an exoskeleton of one of the cicadas that's emerged recently. Chris Gentile gives insight on the significance of this brood. The 13, 17 year cicadas are, are species that are, are, the species is native to the southern United, to the southern and eastern United States. Um, so this is not really a phenomenon you see in other parts of the world. There are cicadas in other parts of the world, but not to this amount of numbers that emerge at one time. Cicadas have a strategy of producing a lot of offspring and hoping that a few survive versus something like a, a, a primate like a monkey or a gorilla or something that would um, have one or two offspring and taken really good care of them. The female will lay eggs, not even see the babies emerge by the time she passes away. And the hundreds of thousands, millions of cicadas that emerge, um, hopefully enough of those will survive and pass their genes on to the next generation. The next time we'll see brood 14 is in 2042. From the Western North Carolina Nature Center, Julia Haley, News 13.